This video is about the issue of clickbait in sports journalism. Oh, you thought it was going to be about diversity? Why would you think that? Many of us consume news on the internet and social media plays a big part of that. Clickbait has infested our Facebook feeds, our Twitter timelines and our Snapchat stories with headlines designed to make us click on them. The main issue with this is that you're often left with a feeling of being cheated when misleading headlines don't deliver on what they promise. Take this example from Male Sports Facebook account which says, Bad news Chelsea fans, Antonio Conte drops biggest hint yet that he could leave Chelsea. What this article actually says is that Conte is focusing on the present, he's focused on finishing off the season well, and whether or not he stays with Chelsea will become clear after the FA Cup final. Following the Cambridge Analytica scandal, Facebook has changed their algorithms for the content showed on their news feeds to show more meaningful interactions with friends and family rather than published content. There's a fine line between clickbait and lazy journalism, to the extent where it's becoming harder for us to distinguish between the two. Especially on Twitter, we see obvious examples like this one, from Mirror Football, that reads, why Klopp wanted Liverpool to train naked before Man City clash, and it's to do with Mo Salah. When in reality, it's just about Mo Salah being in the spotlight all the time. Mail Online Sport wrote a whole article based on these two pictures. Tempers flare in Arsenal training as Lacazette and Bellerin clash. Because social media is so immediate, Bellerin called him out by tweeting this. Later, he mocked the mail in this goal celebration with Lacazette. And it's all in the timing just before the break. And it's turning in. In 2017, Snapchat laid out strict rules for publishers looking to eradicate the problem of clickbait on their Discover feature. Creators are not allowed to use headlines and images that lack editorial value, and these must match the main body of the articles. But that's not to say that some clever media outlets haven't found ways around these rules. Take this Sky Sports story for example. It came out on the same day that Deli Ali had an unfortunate incident where a leaked video of him came out online. His picture was used to accompany this article, but there was no mention of him in the article itself. Even though applications like Facebook and Snapchat are taking measures to limit our exposure to clickbait, a clickbait-free future is unrealistic. All we can hope is that people wise up and continue to call out clickbait journalism. If we as consumers refuse to click through on such stories, it will become a less dominant feature of internet journalism.